Hey everyone, this is Greg and welcome back to a new video tutorial. So in this one, what I'm going to demonstrate is the ability to use Google Jamboard, which you can see right here, to create really nice instructional videos via screen recording on your iPad. So if you've never used Jamboard before, it's Google's kind of digital dry erase board environment. And what I really like about it when you pair it with the iPad is if you turn on the iPad built-in screen recording function, and I'll walk through how to kind of turn that on on your iPad, then what you're able to do is open up a Jamboard. And while you can use it as just a blank white canvas to solve math problems or work on equations or sketch some ideas out, because Jamboard is just a blank white background, what you can also do, which is really nice, is import slides from your Google Drive account into Jamboard and then bring those slides onto the screen and make them bigger or smaller and then work right on top of them all while you're screen recording. So before we get into Jamboard, let's kind of get into the settings of your iPad to turn on the screen recording. So I'm gonna dig into the settings and then you'll notice down here, I'm just gonna go down to Control Center and then in the Control Center, I will customize controls. Now notice, I have screen recording that's already turned on. By default, it will be down here somewhere. You can click the plus button. It's now in your Control Center. So to get to the screen recording, we just need to swipe down from the top right hand corner and as you can see here I have a little record button now because of the way I'm connected to this video I can't actually record live but what I would normally do is press we'll get a three two one and then it starts recording so I'm gonna add little screenshots into the video so you can see that as well coming up right here so now that we're back what you'll also notice is by default, the, the uh, microphone is not on. So I kind of demoed how to turn that on. It requires a long press. Then your microphone pops up, enable your mic. So now when you're doing your recording, it will capture everything you do on your iPad. It will capture all of your voicing. And then because of Jamboard, it's going to capture our slides onto the Jamboard. So let's go through that process now. I'm going to go to my Google folder over here, open up a new Jamboard and I will make one from scratch. And then you'll notice on the iPad environment, there's an extra addition in the plus button to add content. And you don't have to just add images, you can pull content from Google Drive. So I'm gonna dig into the content section here and I'll do a search to find the file, iPad and Jamboard. So I have a little mock-up that I'm going to use. There's my file that I'd like to use. So that is what I'm going to pull in. So notice what we have here are the slides that I've just pulled in. I'm going to make these a little bit bigger with my pointer tool. Uh, slides are, oh, you know what I'll do? Triple dot, sorry, expand. There's all of my slides now. My apologies there. So here's a really cool feature. These are now drag and drop. So I can say, okay, I need my World War II Europe map. I'm going to drag that on the screen and make that a little bit bigger. When that's ready to go, I'll pull down, hit record right here, and now I'm in Jamboard, which allows me to ink on the screen. So I'll go to my pointer. Hey everybody, welcome to my World War II video tutorial. We're going to start here and kind of explain what was going on in Nazi Germany and their expansion into Western Europe. If I'm done with that one, I'll simply go to my eraser tool. I can erase all of the inking that I've just done. You don't have to do that. I'll go back to my pointer tool make that really small. I can even delete that slide if I want to and clean up any inking. If I need another idea, maybe I pull out this water cycle image, make that a little bit bigger, and now I'm able to ink on top of this. And I can use a highlighter if I want as well. So I'll use a red highlighter, talk about evaporation and condensation and water runoff and what's going on with the water table and how en solar energy is involved. So you can see this tool is super flexible with pulling Google Slides into a Jamboard. And then like I demoed as well, if we tap on that image, triple dots up in the top corner, delete that image, go to my eraser, wipe out everything I've done here. And then I'll pull in one more image so you can get a sense of what this looks like in a second. Get rid of all that. Maybe I'll pull this World War II map back on for a minute, make that bigger. What we can also do is use the laser pointer and it creates this kind of nice little legacy shadow of laser anytime we're talking. So it's recording everything I'm doing on my iPad. When I'm done with the recording, I can pull down to my toolbar, stop the recording, and it saves directly to my camera roll. 
So another option you have, it's not just Google Slides that you can pull in. What you can also grab is PDF files. So I'm going to, again, go to the plus button, grab content from my Google Drive account, and I'll search for this primary source that I might use with my history students. There's a letter from a Birmingham jail by Dr. King. I'll tap on that. It comes onto the slides, triple dots, expand, and now I can, oops, let me get rid of the inking. I'm just going to drag this over. Undo that as well. Let's import that one more time. Sorry about this, guys. Import, Google Drive, letter from a Birmingham jail, expand. There we go. So now if I want to talk about page one, I can pull page one out, zoom in, get in and do some like really close analysis. I can use the laser pointer as I'm breaking down this reading and explaining for my students. When I'm done with page one, I'll go to the pointer, delete it from the main canvas, but it still exists in this kind of excerpt preview window where I can pull in anything I want. So maybe I just want to focus on page five of the reading and go to a really specific instance of something that Dr. King mentioned here. I can highlight that and talk about it. So I think if you combine these two tools, if you combine Jamboard and you combine iPad screen recording, you have this really nice environment to create video content on your iPad with instructional materials that you may have already created, Google Slides, PDFs that are in your Google Drive account, um, Google Documents that are in your Google Drive account. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, don't forget, I'll be trying to, I'll make as many videos as I possibly can to help you out through the summer and into the coming school year. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll get updates and notifications on any new videos that I'm posting. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.